recording has been started and I will begin the share screen. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty sure we can all see what I'm looking at. I'd like to call to order SFSS Council meeting Wednesday, March 13th, 2024 at 4.36 p.m. Very nice. We respectfully acknowledge that the SFSS is located on the traditional unceded territories of the Coast Salish peoples, including the Musqueam, Squamish, Tsleil-Waututh, Coquitlam, and Katsi nations. Unceded means that these territories have never been handed over, sold, or given up by these nations. And we are currently situated on occupied territories. Jad, it is vertical because I'm using my second monitor. It is easier for me to read. We will go with that. We will begin the roll call of attendance. Hold on, let me make sure I have the regrets list on the side. So I can keep track. Okay, yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna start off with Archaeology Student Society. It doesn't look like they are here. Tulin says they are running late. Okay, very good to know. I'm gonna move on to Behavioral Neuroscience. I take that back. They have submitted regrets. <clears throat> I'm moving on to Biology Student Union. Hello, everyone. My name is Nick. My pronouns are he and his, and all my athletes have been met. Thank you very much. Biomedical, Physiology, Kinesiology. Hi, everyone. My name is Jovan. He, him, all of my athletes are met. Thank you very much. Uh, Chemistry Student Society, I remember they submitted regrets. Sorry, I skipped business. Business Administration. Mm -hmm. I see you in the chat. Thank you very much. Where was I? Yes. Cognitive science has also submitted regrets. I'm going to move on to, nope, this one's also a regret. Criminology Students Association. I see you inside of the chat. Thank you very much. Uh, do we have data science? Data Science Student Society. Jennifer? I take the silence as a no. I'm going to move on to... Oh, I see you in the chat. Thank you very much. I'm going to move on to Earth Science. I see you in the chat. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Next up is going to be Education Student Association. Hi, my name is Shivali, pronouns, <laughs> pronouns she, her, and I have all my access needs met for today. Excellent. Thank you very much. Engineering science. In the chat, thank you very much. Environmental science. I see you in the chat. Wonderful, very good. Uh, let's move on to, yes, geography, student union. I also see you in the chat, thank you very much. Next up is health science undergraduates. Also in the chat, thank you very much. History has, is with Henry, apparently. They've also submitted regrets, so all is good. Indigenous studies. Do we have indigenous studies? Seems like we do not. In that case, I'm moving on to international studies. ISSA. No, I could have sworn she was in. <clears throat> uh, labor Studies, Student Union. Very nice. I see you in the chat. Thank you very much. And then next up is going to be Mechatronics Systems Engineering. Hi, everyone. My name is Aiden, and all my needs are met. Thank you very much. MBB Student Union. Do we have MVP? Yes. My name is Sam Killy. My pronouns are he, him. All my access needs are met. I'm just speaking out of Nancy's computer as I'm in the exec lounge. Mm, wonderful. Uh, philosophy student union. Do we have Nava? Philosophy. It doesn't look like it's... I'm going to move on to political science.
political science? No, I think this one is also a no. So I'm gonna move on to resource and environmental management. I'm Amos Axel, um, pronouns he, him, and all my access in German. Thank you. Uh, Science Undergraduate Society. Catherine? Hey guys. Hi guys. It's Catherine. She, her pronouns. All my access needs are met. I just might have to leave at 6 30. Got it. Understood. Society of Arts and Social Sciences. In the chat. Thank you very much. And then it's Sociology and Anthropology. Do we have sociology? Hmm. I will take that as a no. Then I'm moving on to software systems, student society. Hey, I'm Tal. Uh, he, him, all my needs are met. Excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, statistics and actuarial science. Hi, everyone. I'm Ben. I'm pronounced she, her, and all my access needs some rent. Very cool. Sustainable energy engineering. Hello, everyone. I'm Andrew, and uh, my pronouns are he, him, and all my access needs are met. Nice, very nice. Then it's going to be, uh, nope, World Languages has submitted regrets. <clears throat> going to move on to constituency groups now, starting with disability and neurodiversity. I will take that as a no. FN Misa submitted regrets. I'm going to move on to students of Caribbean and African ancestry. Soka? Okay, that's going to be a no. Woman Center Collective. Hi, uh, I'm Tegan. I'm yeah, present. Uh, my uh, pronouns are she, they. All my access needs are met. Um, just a note, my name is spelt wrong in the agenda. Uh, it's T. AE, but um, I can get in touch with the uh, with the admin person about that too. Thank you. Oh, apologies for that, but thank you for notifying. Also, thank you very much. That would be it for constituency groups. Going to go to residence hall association now. RHA. Manual is not here. Teach support staff union. Okay, this also seems to be a no. And then it's going to be SFPIRG. We have SFPIRG. Thank you very much. Okay, executive time. I am here, he, him, his, my access needs are just fine. Acting VP internal has submitted regrets. Do we have VP finance? I am here, access needs are fine and looking forward to today's meeting. Very nice. Do you have VP university and academic affairs? Thomas. Nice, VP external. Um, hi, my name is Nancy, pronounce she, her, and my access needs are met. Very good. Do we have VP Equity? Uh, hi, everyone. I'm, uh, hi, everyone. My name is Priyanka. Pronouns are she, her, hers. Access needs are met. I'm just walking home right now, though, so I might have some background noise. Oh, okay. Got it. VP Events? Hi, everyone. Name's Aya, pronouns she, her, hers. All access needs are met. Awesome. Society staff time, temporary operations. Yeah, she's totally here. Policy research community affairs. In the chat, thank you. Admin assistant. Also in the chat, thank you very much. This regrets list must be wildly updated. We will get to that. We will then go on to the, I am going to go to the consent agenda. Be it resolved to adopt the following consent agenda by unanimous consent. I hope we can clearly see the list below. Uh, I'm going to check the ratification of regrets. I think, yep, I got the list to be added. Very good. So I'm going to move to amend the list of ratification of regrets to also include behavioral neuroscience, computing science student society, 
cognitive science, history, political science, and finally FN MISA. And I think that should be it. I am I'm looking for a seconder. Finance. I hear finance seconds. I'm going to seek unanimous consent. I'm receiving no dissents. There shouldn't be anything else for the consent agenda. Be it resolved to adopt the amended agenda by unanimous consent. Once again, I'm seeking unanimous consent. Once again, I'm receiving no dissents. This is very good. We will now move to the adoption of the agenda. Firstly, I move. Would anyone care to second? Finance. Finance again seconds. Be it resolved to adopt the agenda as presented. Do we have any lists or amendments here? I'm going to sit here and I'm going to wait for 10 seconds. Not that long, actually. Sam, you got a list? Yes, I have a motion from, I have a notice of motion to amend onto the agenda. Um, let me just pull it up and get on. It's the governance and member services committees for reviewing member services policy. So it's just being added to the agenda to be approved. I will also send out the um, completed policy draft to everyone. It'll it will also be posted on the website for the next two weeks. So before the approval vote next. Okay, very good. Uh, while you are pasting it somewhere, I am going to uh never mind, you've already put it down. Well, assuming that you move it, I'd like to second it, seeking unanimous consent to adopt this amendment, receiving no dissents. Very good. This is on. I'm going to move to Thomas's list. Thomas. Uh, hi. Yeah, sorry. Uh, one second, one second, one second. Uh, yo, where are you right now, my guy? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm in the office. Just, uh, just a minute. I'm trying to, uh, bring up the, the agenda. Here's kind of slow. Just bear with me. Bear with me. Bear with me. Okay. Bear. Um. For. Uh, old business, I want to strike a uh, 9.2. Old business, 9.2. On my screen right now, Capital Markets Students Association Club proposal. Yes. Ah, got it. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I understand. Um, you're going to move it. I'm going to second this. Uh, seeking unanimous consent for the striking of old business 9.2. Once, twice, none. Okay, there is no dissent. This is also going to be added on. Uh, VP external. Okay, uh, so I have three things that I want to add on. One in camera, two new business. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to, but can I move this as a badge? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Um. So I'll just put like paste it in the chat.
Um, that should be everything. And then um, there are some documents that are attached to these as well, but um, I'll send that out in a bit. Stop right now. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I'm gonna second, I'm gonna second this. I'm gonna seek unanimous consent. While receiving no dissents, these things will also be added on. I believe that was everyone. Do we have any further lists? Going once, going twice, going three times. There is nothing else. Okay. Then be it officially resolved uh, to adopt the agenda as amended. Once again, seeking unanimous consent. Once again, receiving no dissent. This is very good. We have our agenda today. <clears throat> we can start off right away with some presentations. I don't think anything has been restructured, so that's very good. Surrey Engineering Building Space Expansion presentation. Okay, C. Counselor, are you here right now? I am here right now, and I brought my VP external for CSS for the questions that I assume will come later. Hello, uh, external for team. CSS. Hi. I'm going to, I stopped sharing, uh, just checking if you have screen sharing privileges. And then after that, you can begin whenever, and I will mute. All right. Can I confirm with someone that my screen is visible? Yep, it's visible. Brilliant. Uh, hi, Council. Turn my camera on so you all can see me. Um, I'm here today to ask for some money to finish up some space at the Surrey campus. Uh, a little background for you. This is my second term with the SFSS, but it is the first time I'm presenting or speaking to Council in an organized manner. Suffice to say, I'm a little bit nervous about this, so I appreciate your kindness. Uh, the Surrey campus is a whole new building highlighted there. Uh, we call it the C building, but the name is contested. It's mostly empty and uh, devoid of amenities. I've got some photos from the inside to show you a little bit later. Um, well, here's a photo coming up here of uh, one of the lunchrooms. This one's on the fifth floor. It has uh, three microwaves, a slightly broken foosball table, and weirdly it has no soap. Now, uh, this council, our job is not to replenish the soap in the, uh, the rooms here, but uh, I would like to make use of some of these spaces uh, and make them into places that encourage the use of the building. As it currently stands, this place is empty. People just leave here and go to the main building because that's where all the amenities are. And that's not a great use of space to have empty rooms. Um, we use this building for student-led events and a lot of the student tours come here because the outside looks really nice, but then they get inside and it's uh, it's like walking around a warehouse sometimes. There's just nothing in here. To help make the space a little more attractive to students, I'm asking for uh, $4,000 from uh, this itemized list. Um, we want a conference speaker to host hybrid meetings and events. Uh, as council have heard previously, we host a lot of events. Um, and sometimes it's very difficult to work with mechs. They can be challenging, but I will say no more. They're, they're great for what they do, but sometimes they throw curveballs. Um, so at the moment, we end up passing a smartphone around, which doesn't make us look very professional. And the audio quality isn't great. So people joining uh, online who are unable to attend have inequitable access to uh, our events. Um, a wireless microphone for guest speakers to use at events. Um, Max will not give them to us, as far as I can tell, uh, which is a little frustrating when your professors have one and then we have a nice lecture hall booked and the guest speaker has to shout for an hour or nobody hears them. Um, we're asking for a mini PC to source some sort of critical DSU information, uh, like our constitution, photos, receipts, reports, and to allow equal access for our CSS team to access the email and Canva pages. At the moment, like most DSUs, I assume, uh, we store this information on USB drives. One problem is that they get lost, but the more uh, important problem is that that isn't a very secure way to store things. Uh, and it doesn't leave a lot of organization when we change uh, teams. So our executive team changes every year, as I think everyone's does, but a lot of the information is lost. And we have these conferences that we're required to attend, which means that the new team has, like, has to very quickly learn their new job and um, get all this information together. It's very difficult to do when everything changes at once. So if we had a computer to keep things central, we could have one computer that logs into our email, logs into the, uh, the Canva account, logs into and replies to all of these necessary things and stores our constitution, which is 
the foundation of democracy. Uh, we're asking for, uh, on to sort of more student things, there's this space here on the fifth floor. I think it's a great spot for a fridge. A lot of people agree. Um, because currently there is no fridge in the engineering building. So the main one, the main building has one in the SFSS space. Um, and I understand that this might sound redundant because the buildings are close, but understand that walking around here is a little bit different. For those of you that are unfamiliar, walking around here is a little bit different than walking around uh, the Burnaby campus. Uh, at night, some interesting characters uh, come out and it's not a nice place to walk at night. Even in the daytime, it's gonna be a little sketchy. Uh, and it's about a 10 minute walk. So it looks like they're just sort of across the street from each other, but because this is on the fifth floor and that's on the third floor, um, it's about 10 minutes. I, I timed it today to walk from this space all the way to the fridge in the other building. We have 10 minutes between classes. So if you wanted to leave something in the fridge and then come back for it uh, between classes, it would be very difficult to, to do that if you only if you have 10 minute walk in between. So currently, if you're in the engineering building, your lunch either has to be something that doesn't need to be cold or uh, you're getting a warm lunch kind of situation. So we would like a, a refrigerator there. Uh, we're asking for a small fridge to keep in the, our office to store cold goods like food for an event. So that way it isn't eaten before the event. Uh, ask us how this is an issue. Um, we got a cake once and somebody ate the cake and then our guest speaker had no cake. So we'd like to keep some cold food for uh, events sometimes and it'll be open for anyone else who wants to host events in the C building. Um, the, the small fridge is also a lot cheaper than the big one. So it's not a, a huge budget item. To help with our events, we're asking for a small outdoor canopy. Um, there's lots of great outside space right next to the C building, but it almost never gets used. Uh, I believe MSE has a canopy, but we don't have one and it's very difficult to, to get it with from them. Uh, they won't give it to us last time we checked. So we'd like to have a canopy so we can use this space. There's like painting tables and stuff, you know, when it's raining or really sunny outside, these kinds of things. Uh, we're asking for two board games. We host lots of board games nights, and we're the only DSU that doesn't contribute any to the like community group, which, so we thought we would be good neighbors and co contribute some of our own board games. And to add a big attraction to the building, we're asking for an air hockey table. Now, I anticipate that there's going to be, sorry, here's a photo of uh, the inside of the C building. Um, it, for a little bit of history, it was completed in like 2019. It opened for four months, and then it closed uh, in February of 2020 for COVID. So a lot of the initial plans to like renovate the space got sidelined because COVID and nobody's using the space. And so there's these like trees, which I think are real, but nobody's quite sure. And there's no furniture in this building. It's except for the lecture halls. So it's a little bit strange that it's so empty. Uh, I anticipate some concern over space management. So I did look into this, basically who owns this building and who controls the space here. Um, we weren't totally sure, but we understand that it's not the SFSS. That's limited to a few rooms, including the sub. Uh, I spoke with some representatives at SFU. Uh, they, of course, they're open to SFSS investments, so long as it benefits students. Um, but there are currently no plans from their end to invest in this space. Uh, they're also not sure who totally, not also not sure who manages the space. Last we um, asked, but they did direct me to the SFSS's space expansion fund. So that's why I'm here before you today. Uh, I hope this council can take responsibility for this space in this specific endeavor, uh, because it's not great to be in a place that no one is responsible for. If nobody takes responsibility for this space, nothing will ever be done with it, and that will be a terrible waste. So I hope council can uh, take responsibility for this, this space in this one specific endeavor. Um, now, just to reiterate and to say once more, I don't think it can be uh, said enough how empty this building is. Classes end and everybody walks out the front door. Uh, it is a ghost town in here, and if you go, if you walk around here, the only people you see are security guards. In my opinion, it really adds to the SFU prison experience, but we would like to change that. Um, and with Council's financial support, we hope to make this part of the Surrey campus a place that people want to visit and to make our students our students' experiences here a positive one. Thank you. Thank you very much for the presentation. I see Sam, you have a list. Yes. Um, first of all, very good presentation, Andrew. Um, I just want to ask, I was a little confused in the presentation. The, um, I know you were talking about the other space that you said was under SFU. Um, jurisdiction for the room that you're requesting space expansion funds to um, 
uh, refurnish? Is that a SFU space or an SFSS space? Or is it like a space granted to you by your faculty for like a um, CS common room? Uh, I'll try to answer this. Uh, Ahmed, step in if you think I'm doing it wrong. Um, it is not a common room. I know that much for sure. It is, a, is on the sign. It says it's the lounge, which is a little weird because there's no furniture in it. Um, but I, I I don't think it's an SFSS space because my understanding is the SFSS basically just owns the sub and a few ancillary pieces. Um, but when we spoke to everyone at SFU we could find to who write us back, they said that they weren't going to do anything with it and they told us to use the space expansion fund from the SFSS. Uh, they also said that like if we install a fridge, for example, they won't like take it down. So I don't know if that puts the burden on, on council or, but I, they don't seem to want to take any responsibility for the space, which is not a great situation to be in. Um, and the other uh, SFSS space I was talking about is on the third floor of the main building. It's a triangular shaped sort of corner. Um, for those of you that have been to the Surrey campus, it's not very big, but it has about four microwaves and a fridge and that's pretty much all people need. So, thank you, thank you, Andrew. I'm. I just ask because there's a history of the of SFU as a university, foisting its responsibilities on the SFSS, and within its current um, budget stuff, I can see the people who you've been talking to pushing it to us to um, spend where they don't want to so or don't have the funds to um so i'm very like i'd rather work to see you guys get an official common room in that building and whether that involves use of the space expansion fund or other things from the university, so it's then like a SFSS space. And then once you've got that, then we furnish it because trusting what the um, specific university staff say, whereas when it isn't like written down in a contract or fully defined, I don't think is something we should do, especially when the staff might change or a uh, direction from a higher ranking staff member might come and then we lose the significant investment that you've shown is needed but um something that i think we should work to get i'd rather see more solidified and confirmable and something that can't be taken away at a whim from the university before we invest do you see where i'm coming from and is there any like, do you have any information on like more progress in that regard? Because I know you hinted a little bit on that and whether that's a possibility that could happen and then. Um, I will then answer very quickly, but I think Sindhu has some wisdom. Uh, I totally agree with your points. It is a significant investment and I'm glad you understand that uh, it is near needed. Um, as for common rooms, I'm going to let Sindhu talk before I say anything in case something very interesting comes up. Sindhu, would you like to turn your list into a direct response? Yeah, sure. Um, I was just going to speak off what Sam was saying. I, I think it'll be helpful to kind of see who does manage the space first. And um, of course, figuring that out and making it SFSS based or making it more yours, that's something that council can support with and SPOT can support with. Um, typically, the space expansion fund is reserved for um, like renovations or uh, space improvement of uh, kind of older spaces. So seeing that this is newer spaces, it is um, a little interesting that it's been passed off to space expansion fund before you were already given the opportunity by SFU to improve that space. So I would love to see us push back a little bit and see if there's any way we can get more support from the university to be able to um, furnish that space or solidify that space. Um, and then of course, 
there's always the opportunity to come back to SPOC to, to, or come back and get funding from the Space Expansion Fund to improve that. Um, but I just wanted to seek a little bit more information here on, on the space, and I think that would be helpful. Yes, I agree. Aiden, you have a list? Can you guys hear me? Yep. I just wanted to say that great presentation, Andrew. And truly, like genuinely, like SFU Surrey for those guys, for you guys who have visited, is truly dead. Like, and I completely understand we should negotiate with the university to see like who this place belongs to. But this four thousand dollars, I think, is like the bare minimum, and we have to like genuinely invest in the Surrey campus to make it a better place. Over that. Ayo, I see a direct response. Uh, sure, I'll just be even brief. Um, I don't think this is a discussion about bare minimum. I think it's a discussion about liability, mostly because if we do put, if we do renovate the space and SFU then decides that they want this space back, since there is no official discussion as to whether or not this is an SFSS space or a DSU space, that puts us in kind of a hole because it means that we have to take out all our things with no place to store them and possibly have to give them out because we don't have nowhere to keep them. So what's being said here is that before we renovate any space that we have no guarantee, and SFP has not given us any guarantee that we have control over, we have to we have to find out if we do have control over the space or not. We have to make sure that the space is like ours to renovate and there's no excuses when we do so. So I get, I get that you guys have reached out, but it's a com it's been a common theme of SFP trying to pawn off various like responsibilities onto the SFSS without any formal discussion as to which responsibilities fall to us and without any formal agreement as to what we benefit from this or what we own from this. So I think for everyone's sake, it's probably better if we wait on at least ensuring that this is a space that we control and it's not just a space that we're controlling for now until as if you decide they want it back. Yes. Sam, are you next on the list? Hi everyone. I'm in full agreement with what Io said, that it isn't a discussion of need or getting this done, that if this is done too fast without the proper um, um, due diligence behind it, it's just handing SFU a $4,000 check, pretty much. And we, and it's an area where I think it would probably be a good idea to task our VP internal to um, work with C's and the other, I don't know if any of the other Surrey campus specific departmental student unions are involved in it as well, to figure out what's going on with that space and whether there is an opportunity to get more space on the Surrey campus as that would be good for students. <laughs> and then invest in the spaces once we've confirmed that they will be our spaces and not spaces that like the university has done repeatedly in the past, just remove um, specific students from like they were doing in 2020, I believe. Okay. Tao, you are next on the list. Yeah, great presentation, guys. I completely agree. The The new building, um, it's beautiful, but it's eerily empty. There's not a lot in there. And uh, I think if some money was to get invested, whether that's from the SFSS or from SFU, it would go a long way. Um, I do have a question regarding uh, budgeting. Does anyone have access to a breakdown as to... Uh, regarding the space expansion fund, how much has gone to Surrey versus has gone to Burnaby? Um, because in my past four or five years at SFU, it doesn't feel like a lot of money has really been contributed to the Surrey campus. Um, now, 
I don't have the, the numbers in front of me, so I could be completely wrong here. Um, but it would be nice to, to see the numbers and, and perhaps from there, we'll have a clear idea as to where the money is going. Let me look at this. CSS, you should have the next list. Awesome. Um, hi, Council. Thank you all for uh, the information. I'm glad we agree that... Uh, I, I think I can say that all the people who've spoken uh, agree that this money is needed. Um, as Liam often says, a two-pronged approach, I believe. Uh, I think we have a two-pronged approach here. So um, on the one hand, uh, we, the Sustainable Energy Engineering Student Society, have a small sort of room closet office like uh, many other DSUs have. Uh, in this, we can store... Um, about half of the items that were on the uh, presentation today. That would be SFSS space, or it would at least be CSS space. It is very much ours and not SFUs, they can't have it. So that would satisfy for some of the items, for some of the larger items like the fridge or the uh, air hockey table, if that was to be uh, approved. Perhaps we could go through Spock or the Surrey Canvas Committee uh, and work with SFU to get the fifth floor or third floor sort of these empty rooms. Uh, converted or handed over to SFSS or CSS um, as our managed space, and then we can contribute space expansion funds to finish them. So for now, I want to ask if it's staff or whoever thinks uh, they know um, if this is a, a possible sort of two pronged approach, and um, if if so, we can we can go from there. Yes, Sindhu, direct response. Yeah, absolutely. And Andre, if you want to send me a message, we can kind of discuss the next steps and go from there. Okay. Aiden, I believe you are the next on the list. So I just want to summarize that if we find out that the room belongs to SFSS, we will get the funding. Like, this is the only problem at the moment. Someone said yes in the chat. Okay. So hopefully Andrew and um Sindhu can figure that out. Okay. Okay. Ayo, you have the floor. Uh sure. Um Uh, just first things first, uh, I was going to give you guys a message at Flaw about this, as she is the Surrey Campus Coordinator for the SFSS, so she would be more in um, communication with the SFU staff on Surrey Campus. And I guess just more importantly, is that um, I feel like we do have to be careful, like um, it was brought up about the Burnaby, um, about comparison between how much you spent in Burnaby versus how much you spent in Surrey, which I feel is not a fair comparison, given that we do have the sub on Burnaby campus, whereas we have a very limited space on Surrey campus, and our existence is practically non-existent in the Vancouver campus. So, of course, the Burnaby campus is going to see most of the funding. Um, I don't think this is trying to say that we think that Burnaby is more important than Surrey. I just think it's a case of circumstances. And I just think that that's basically it. Um, if the funding is needed, the funding will be granted for sure. But we also do need to know that whatever funding is going there remains as SFSS funding. And as such, I don't think we can really do anything about it until we know for a fact that the space is our space. Yes, CSS. Awesome. Um, I did not reach out to the SFSS Surrey Space Coordinator, but I did, if I recall, email you, Io, asking for steps um, in this whole process. Of course, I'm not very uh, experienced in how council operates um, and on this side at least. Um, so I will, I will, if you can, uh, if you could send me the, the email to reach out to, I, I'd love to get started on that. Um, 
as for the other part of my two pronged approach, could I? There's currently the motion that's coming a bit later, just says dollars X. Um, so we would have to amend on a price there. But um, would it be possible to uh, consider and, and discuss um, taking the part, the, the items that would need their own space um, as a separate thing that we'll talk about in committees or I'll talk about with Sindhu? And then consider just now the small items that would, like the board games and stuff, that could be purchased and kept in our CSS room closet office um, as the space expansion fund items for now in this motion. And then we can figure out where to get the rest of these items, these bigger items, once we know where, how the space is managed. So uh, what this isn't the motion. Obviously, this is just discussion after the presentation. But when it comes to the motion, I guess we'll, con we'll continue this discussion. Uh, and... I will amend it so that we're only talking about the small items that could fit in our common room instead of talking about um, how the space is managed, because I don't think we're going to be able to get to the bottom of that in this meeting. Mm, that's true. Sindhu, your direct response. Yeah, I was just going to say, in terms of space, I think uh, we would know if it was our space and um, the survey campus coordinator may not have contacts there. But um, in regards to your smaller items, that might be something that could go through Surrey Campus Committee opposed to Council or through the Space Expansion Fund. So that's also something to consider um, for just the smaller items. So, I mean, we can discuss that when we come to the motion too. Yep, CSS. Um, I'll make this pretty quick. Uh, yeah, I emailed um about I mean I asking about the um Surrey campus I tried to go through I was gonna to try to go through SCC but I didn't quite know if that was the right process. So I emailed IO asking if um about information for the process. And then last council meeting during the QA I asked how I would access some space expansion funds uh, for the Surrey campus and I was directed to bring it to council instead of going to a committee. So that's the reasoning behind why I've done this. If it turns out I should go to the committee, we'll go to the committee. I'm uh, I'm happy to follow due process. Understood. I'll your direct response. Yeah, uh, you did email me about it. Um, you you emailed me in a reply to the um, call for the agenda items for Surrey Campus Committee, which was where I actually was going to address it. All right. seems to be the end of the discussion for now. If that's the case, I thank you kindly, CSS, for the presentation. I appreciated everyone who was inside of the Q&A. <clears throat> yes, I think we can move for now to the business items, starting off with old business I suppose you might want me to share the screen again. We begin with 9.1, first year engagement committee submitted by MBB counselor. <clears throat> I firstly move, would anyone like to second? ISSU. ISSU seconds, whereas the first year engagement committee is scheduled to coordinate activities and engagement events and initiatives, such as community building events for first years, Whereas there is one vacant council seat in the first year engagement committee, be it resolved to elect Councillor X to serve under FYEC for the rest of the council term. I believe we are all very, very familiar with the fashion now. Then I will get straight to it. I am making a first call for nominations. VP Equity, do you have a list? Yeah, sorry. Uh, I'd like to nominate the resource counselor Amos. I'm sorry for pronouncing your name wrong, by the way. Resource hey. counselor Amos. Yep. Yeah. What is your response to that? Um, yeah, I accept the nomination. Most excellent. Going uh, second call for nominations. Pass third call for nominations. Another pass, I'd like to move to strike Councillor X, replace it with R -E -M -S -A 
Councillor Amos to serve on the first year engagement committee. May I get a seconder? Finance. Okay, I hear finance seconds. Seeking unanimous consent. No dissent, be it officially resolved to elect the Remza councillor to serve on the FYEC for the rest of the council term. Once again, seeking unanimous consent and receiving no dissent. That is wonderful. Thank you very much, Amos, and congratulations. Thank you. Reasonably sure that's it for old business. We're going to move on to new business now. Yes, the space expansion. <clears throat> I am assuming. Yeah, we'll go through the process. I move. Anyone care to second? CSS. CSS seconds. Whereas the Surrey Engineering Building hosts two departments and numerous events, whereas there are few amenities to encourage the use of the space by students, whereas the S. CSS team stores data in unsecured media due to lack of equipment, whereas funds were recently allocated to EISSS. Hey, to furnish their common room. Be it resolved that council approves X amount from the space expansion from the space expansion fund to finish this part of the Surrey campus. Now it's time for discussion. I will make a list. Uh, CSS, I see your list. I'm listing something. I'm pretty sure we're going to be talking about the same thing. Uh, I'd like to clarify, are we going to go for, forward with the motion? Because from the discussions earlier, it seemed like we'd like to conclude a few things first, specifically about making sure that the space is actually ours as an SFS has before moving forward with it. So I'd like to ask CSS if they are comfortable with possibly postponing this motion for now, or uh, as far as the smaller items go, contacting the committee for it. And yeah, Andrew, you can list. Oh, great. Uh, I'll share my screen now just to show. Oh, Liam, can you stop sharing your screen so I can share mine? Uh, this, will be, this will be the raw view of the spreadsheet that we've been using for uh, the calculations here. Um, the items that I have shaded in gray will easily fit, or not easily, but they will fit in the common room. So I'd like to amend the motion for the new total shown below there. I've taken the other two out of that calculation just to replace dollars $x with this amount. And then we're only discussing items that will go to a the CSS managed space. Um, they will help with uh, our events. They will help with the student engagement. We will still have board games to use and outdoor canopies to use uh, for events. They will not be as great as a fridge or an air hockey table, but I believe that is the best we can do for now. So I'd like to amend the motion for $2,863 instead of dollars X. Hmm. Understood. Uh, Sam, would you like to list? MVB. Uh -huh. It does not look like he's here at the moment. I will say, though, seeing as how there doesn't seem to be anything, anything terribly wrong with the allocations as it is, and seeing as these are small scale ones, chances are, even if we don't take care of this in council right now, they're going to be moving it to the uh, Surrey Council Committee sooner or later anyway. And the same process will happen there. Since this is already presented to us at the moment, for the sake of saving time, we could take care of this now, unless there is any reason to oppose it. Sindhu, you have a list? Yeah, I'm also wondering if there's opportunity to use funding from your core for some of the smaller items as well. CSS? We were going to use core to cover shipping costs or any other sort of ancillary stuff that comes up with trying to get these items. Because like if you want to buy a mini fridge, um, 
I mean, I can probably go pick it up with my car, but I'm not sure if it fits in my car. So if it doesn't fit, we'll need to get a shipping cost. So we were going to use our core money for that. Uh, CSS is also very small, like in terms of like total students we represent. Um, so while we uh, have lots of events and lots of people from other DSUs come, we don't have a ton of core money that comes in every semester. So uh, just using it for ancillary items. Oh, should I answer Evan's question? Um, the link we have right now does not come from Amazon and we have ethical issues about buying things from Amazon. So we try not to. Understood. Sam, are you, are you back? Yes, I'm back. Um, so I know there's an exec committee meeting up coming up pretty soon and the grant funding request is the same is like um within the amount that can be approved by the exec committee. Um or either of the other two committees mentioned, I just know that the exec committee meets a little more frequently. So in the interest of time, it'll be, um, that'll be a good place to go. Um, I was just wondering, would it make more sense to postpone it to <laughs> there? Because with everything that we had changed, I'm just a little, like things are in motion right now and like just want to confirm that all the uh, boxes are checked before we uh, prove it like I know um, when engineering did their common room request for their um, Burnaby common room they like gave an itemized list so and just like something like that for the items and stuff and that way it doesn't need to doesn't need to come back to council it can be done quickly but also we just get that as well css um i can show you the itemized list uh, once more and i had it a little bit earlier as it is sort of amended to fit in the smaller space um i was directed to come to council directly so I understand now that there's a lower limit. I could have gone to the Surrey Campus Committee. Um, and the part about ESSS there, I understand now that that was a, a different situation because that's an SSS managed space. I'll share my screen now so you can see the uh, itemized list. And I can find a way to get it sent out with the, the minutes for this meeting if that is desired. I tried to get it sent with uh, the meeting, but unfortunately, uh, the day that uh, agenda items were due was also the day before a midterm worth half my grade. So I was a little more focused on that one thing than the other, unfortunately, but I'm happy to uh, give it to you now. The items shaded in gray are the ones we are uh, requesting and the total reflects that at the bottom. Uh, was there another question you had, Sam, that I missed? Yes, sir. Um, I just realized now you have a link. All your items are linked to um, things. Are those the specific items you're looking to buy? Yeah, those all go, um, like they all go, uh, okay. somewhere that has a price attached and somewhere we can buy it. Okay. No, sorry. I was, that was the piece that I was just missing. I couldn't, didn't, didn't see that. So, um, is this something you can email to all of council? Just like the, like how I sent out an email at the beginning. Yep, I can email that to council now. Um, and I oh, my other point was uh, it's we're already here talking about it at council. Um, if we're interested in saving time, I, I don't think going to a committee, representing everything, and then uh, discussing from there would save time. But if council believes that is the case, we we can do that. Uh, I'll send out an email with this in just a moment. In your list. Yeah, I think like for the sake of saving time, 
Andrew just had the presentation and he has a list and everything. I think it's better to get it done now than just push it for later. Small steps like we can go for it now if we if possible. That's it. You know, there is an option that you send out the email of all the items now. We move this motion till towards the end of the meeting, just so to give council some brief buffer of time to look at it. But then uh, I still do kind of agree, given that the presentation already happened and we've already been exposed to all the information about it in the council. Uh, we might as well take care of it now in this meeting, assuming that there isn't any issues with uh, with the budgeting. Yes, Sam. That works just as well in my mind. I just have one question, one final piece. I don't think it's going to be an issue because I don't remember seeing any difficulties, any like weird things in our um, space expansion fund line item, but if for then we can also get Jad to just provide a brief piece of, just some information on how the line item's going, just to confirm we still have money in it. I don't think it's gonna be an issue, but I'm not the VP finance, so I'd like to just make sure we have money in that line item. I hope you guys understand the fiscal responsibility and all that kind of piece. Yeah, BP Finance, I see the right response. After this, I think I'm going to kind of maybe close off discussion for a little while because uh, we might have to get going to some stuff. Wait, actually, no, we don't We don't even have that many new business items. My bad, my bad. Disregard what I said. Chad, go ahead. Yeah, um, I think we still have some left in Space Expansion Fund. I believe I read it in an email. If I'm not mistaken, that was another line item but I don't think it will be an issue. If you want the exact number, then I'll need to come back to you on that one. But off the top of my head, I believe we can make it work. Yeah, Sindhu? Yeah, so for uh, funds like, you know, Accessibility Fund or like Space Expansion Fund, it, it works a little bit different from our other operating costs. So it's not like a budget that's renewed every year. It's just a, a pool of funding that, um, it's kind of there um, throughout the years, like over time. So it, it's there's funding in it now, yes. And so I don't think this is too much of a concern. Um, the only concern on my end is more just about um, the fact that this is numerous space and um, if this is the appropriate committee that it should be coming to. Yes. Okay. Is there anything else for this discussion? No, I don't think so. So are we comfortable with postponing this towards the end and discussing it then? Or I guess this is a question for us, uh, CSS. Yep. So I will move to put motion, my motion, which has a number. Um, my my new business motion 10.1 to the end of the new business items or, oh, it is the new, okay, I'll move it. After uh, we we have, we have two extra new business items after this one, the oh. one external admitted on. Right, right. So I'll move to add, I'll, I'll move to put motion 10.1 at the end of new business. Okay, okay. I am reasonably fine with that. I'd like to second it, uh, seeking unanimous consent. If anyone would like to list or abstain or dissent, please do so now. It doesn't seem like it. Okay, then it's officially been, for the moment, postponed. Then I will go to the newest new business item. Yep. Actually, oh no, my bad. BP External only submitted one new business item, it seems. Nope, nope, there's two. My bad. I just can't read. First one's going to be 
title, signing on to the open letter to BC government. I will move. I'm going to look for a seconder. Events. I hear events seconds. Very good. I'll read it aloud. Whereas the BC Federation of Students has raised important issues about the post-secondary sector. Oh, sorry, excuse me, fellas. Uh, hold on a second. Apologies for the delay on my end. Whereas the BC Federation of Students has raised important issues about post-secondary sector due to new limits on international student permits. Whereas their letter offers a plan to make post-secondary education better for students, communities, and the job market, asking for five specific changes to fix funding problems and make education fairer, especially for international students, be it resolved that the SFSS supports the goals and requests in the BC Federation of students letter. Be a further resolve that SFSS agrees to sign the letter showing our commitment to improving post-secondary education alongside the BC Federation of Students and others. Very good. I think we're now ready for discussion. Uh, external, if you have anything. Yep, external. Hi, sorry. Yeah, um, I was just pulling up my my stuff that I have for this. Um, I'll just give like a bit of a summary um, on this. So the BC Federation of Students, um, they pretty much wrote an open letter calling for urgent and substantial reform in like our post-secondary education system. So they highlighted the systemic underfunding and over-reliance on international student fees. That's something that we all are very much aware of. Um, and pretty much they're proposing a reformative path that emphasizes equity, inclusivity, and quality education. Um, within the letter, they have five actionable demands to um, the provincial government. And so they're aiming to cap tuition fee increases for international students, enhance transparency and fairness in study permit distribution, finalize funding formula reviews, develop a um, sustainable funding model and secure investment in public institutions. Um, so pretty much these measures are kind of there to safeguard the future of post-secondary education in BC um, in a way to make it more affordable, accessible, and aligned with the needs of the community. Um, I thought that we had missed the deadline for this, but they reached out to me again um, and they said that it's fine if we get it approved. So I want to put it on today to make sure I can send that off and see what you guys think if it's all right that we sign on to this. I've got a question. Has this letter been shown to council before in the past or emailed earlier before the council meeting? Um, it was not emailed earlier, but Sam sent it out with um, his stuff as well. Oh, okay. Very nice. Very nice. Months ago, we got it also. Okay. Got it. Got it. Must have just forgotten it. Yeah, overall, this seems like an excellent letter. Very excited to show support for it. Do we have any other lists or questions? No. If, if that's the case, I'm going to assume that we all get along with this nicely then. Then... We will be going to voting. Okay, okay, very good, very good. Uh -uh, I'm going to be seeking unanimous consent in showing that the SFSS will agree to sign the letter, showing our commitment to improving post-secondary education. Uh, I am seeking unanimous consent. And I'm also receiving no dissent. Very good. This motion will be passed unanimously. Very nice. We can now move on to our uh, second item, which is going to be signing on to the reclassifying student health center scope of practice letter. I move. Anyone like to second? A seconder. 
health science. Okay, I hear health science seconds. <clears throat> Whereas the University of Victoria Graduate Student Society highlights significant issues with the current defined scope B designation for physicians at student health centers leading to inadequate health care services for students. Whereas evidence supports reclassification of def defined scope A could improve care and is financially feasible with the use of international student health fee revenues, be it resolved that the SFS supports the call to the province of BC to re reclassify physician-provided health care at student clinics, ensuring better health care for students. Be it further resolved that the SFS agrees to, to co-sign the letter to relevant ministries advocating for this change. Uh, it's now time for discussion. I don't really see anything. I will kind of list first as sort of a question. Have we gotten the letter for this one as well to the relevant ministries advocating for the change? Um, Sam should have sent this uh, as well. It should be in the same email if it wasn't already sent out to council. Okay, okay, understood. was sent at 5 p.m. Okay, okay. This is sort of just a personal question. Could you, could someone explain a bit more about what defines scope A and B are? Um. Yeah, sorry. Uh, I can look for my information on that. I was just getting a call. I was gonna explain this a bit more um um so pretty much uh kind of what I've gotten uh through my discussion with the uh, uh University um of Victoria Student Society so UVix um people is that uh, that physicians at student health centers are currently designated as um defined scope B um which pretty much results in them being paid at the lowest rates for general practitioners in BC. I, if that's uh, correct, that's kind of my um, understanding of defined scope B. Um, and so pretty much uh, they're discussing the difficulties that this has in attracting and retaining physicians, consequently causing like increased wait times, decreased services, and like a lack of continued care for students. So that's kind of what they mean by defined scope B, if that makes a bit more sense. Oh yeah. So they want to just get campus clinic physicians to the defined scope A level versus where they're at right now. Uh, okay, okay. Ministries are looking for the change. Yeah, yeah, this seems like an excellent initiative, at least to me. Uh, do we have any other discussions, Liz, from anyone? Uh, it doesn't seem like it. I'm just going to wait five seconds. Okay, then time to vote. Once again, really excited to show support for something like this as well. Uh, I'm going to go and seek unanimous consent. Uh, just to clarify, once again, this is also for the SFSS to agree to co-sign another letter for the reclassifying student health center's scope of practice. Uh, right, right. I'm seeking unanimous consent. No abstains or dissents. Okay, okay. Then I'm comfortable to say that this also unanimously passes. Well done, well done. Wow, okay, okay. Uh, I know the whole point of delaying 10.1 motion was to give us a bit of extra time to uh, look at the lists, but... We actually went by externals to motions relatively pretty quickly. So I'm actually not sure how much of a benefit that was able to do. But I am relatively comfortable with moving forward with the motion regardless, unless anyone voices any valid concerns. 
I see CSS has a list. Go ahead. Yeah, Liam, if you wanted to give people a, a time to review, would you want to call a five minute recess maybe? A five minute recess? I'm happy to keep going. I mean, I know what I wrote on the spreadsheet, but I'll let Sam talk. Oh, yeah, Sam, what do you think? I know I was the person who had the most questions, but all mine are now answered. I, I have nothing further really to say, and I read the document looked good to me. Um, if there's enough other people who want a five minute recess, then go for it. But I don't think I don't think there will be so. <laughs> Let's just vote. I agree. It sounds eager. Uh, does any would anyone like a five minute recess? Yeah, Priyanka. Um, I just had a quick question. I am in full support of renovating our three spaces. Um, I did notice that there was a PC on the list, and I just had a quick question about like, I guess liability insurance or like theft concerns considering it is it an SS space um I'm not sure if Sidhu can shed any light on this um like are there any concerns regarding that or like I I'm not totally sure just because I know that's probably like one of the pricier items on the list um and I would like to see this go through I just wanted to make sure on that and it was all good nice nice CSS direct response hi uh our office is or I say office it's really a broom closet um, has a, a wall on it and the door is locked with a fancy sort of 3D key that is only available to executives on the CSS council as well as the landlord, or not the landlord, like um, the maintenance people. Uh, so it's a locked office. The PC itself, uh, the dimensions of it, it's about six inches by five inches by one inch. It's, it's really small. So our plan is to just put it in like a cardboard box in the corner and then it's out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. And uh, it's the for fiduciary responsibility, it's like one of the smallest sort of new computers that you can buy that'll store a reasonable amount of uh, data on it. And like I said in my presentation, we wanted to keep our information safe, so we should keep it safe. And we're going to do that by having a very small computer, um, a computer that isn't, it's also next, like our office area is like right next to the computer lab. So if you were going to steal a computer, I think you'd be better off stealing one of the hundred in the computer lab as opposed to the one in our office kind of thing. So I think it'll be quite safe in there. At the moment, we keep, you know, uh, all manner of items. There are a lot of people keep like their laptops in there, for example, and they haven't been stolen yet. As a, a given example, I'm not very concerned about security. And uh, I just spoke for VP external. Uh, he also says that it's not a security concern because there's very few keys and they're like 3D and they're very fancy. This sounds very reasonable to me. Yeah, sorry, I'm sitting in here. Okay, awesome. Thank you for addressing that. Um... That was like my only concern. Okay, okay. Uh, very nice. I, at this point, I uh, I kind of agree with Sam in the way that we might not need a five minute recess. Let's wait for five minutes to see if anyone wants to wait for five minutes. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. We can go forward with the space expansion. Uh. Could you bring up the final amount one more time, just so I could properly amend it? Nice, nice, nice. I'm assuming it's going to be the total down below. So uh, I'm going to move, first of all, to strike X on this motion, replacing it with $2,863 for the space expansion fund. Can I get a seconder for this? CSS seconds. CSS seconds, seeking unanimous consent. Well, there's no dissent for this. Uh, be it officially resolved that council approves the amount of money to, I, I can't believe I already forgot it, the amount of money to approve from the space expansion fund to carry, to finish this part of the Surrey campus. Once again, I'm looking for a unanimous consent No abstains or dissents. Okay, then I'm going to comfortably say that this motion passes unanimously in council. 
All right then. All right. Well done. Thank you very much, CSS, for your patience. And thank you, everyone in council, for your patience as well. If we can, I'm pretty sure that there is nothing else involved inside of new business. Now it's just going to be a bunch of in camera items. Just going to double check real quick. Sam, the motion that you submitted earlier, this would still be a new business item that we haven't taken care of. Is that right? The motion I submitted at the beginning? <laughs> yes, yes. Member service and groups policies updates. It's just a notice of motion in section 14, I believe. Oh, notice of motion. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it will be taken care of in section 14. Uh, BPUAA, did you submit? Did you submit a new business item? I actually don't think he did. He just moved to strike something. Okay, okay, okay. All right, I'm going to move to go in camera for the remainder of the meeting. May I get a seconder for this? Health science. Okay, health science seconds. I'm seeking unanimous consent. Well, there is no dissent. That's very good. I will stop the recording. Hi, Liam. Do we have everyone in the um, out of the breakout room? Everyone except two people, it seems. Rajdev and Essa Perg. But uh, I think you can start now anyway. Oh, please may you like just close the breakout room and then we can reopen it for Nancy's item after so we can have everyone in here. Yeah. I tried to, it's on a timer. It says it's gonna close in 15 seconds. Sounds good. I'll wait 15 seconds. Yeah, it's good now. So, hi everyone, I'm moved to go X camera. Can I get a seconder? History second. History seconds. Um, I'm gonna seek unanimous consent for the motion to go X camera. If you dissent, please speak up now. Hearing no dissent, this motion is carried. I'm now going to move to suspend the rules to add on a motion that was discussed in camera, just making sure, just waiting a second as it is currently just being finalized.
Sam, are we still waiting on the motion to be to be pasted? Yes, I apologize. Okay, no, no problem. Thank you, Henry, for posting the motion in chat. I'm going to seek unanimous, I'm going to motion to suspend the rules to um, add this motion to the council agenda. Um, can I get a seconder? Internal seconds. I'm going to seek unanimous consent for that. Um, the title is OCO appeal from staff, but I'm going to seek unanimous consent for suspending the rules to add this motion to the agenda immediately after the first two in-camera items. Um, I'm gonna seek unanimous consent. If you dissent, please speak up now. Hearing no dissent, this motion is carried. I'm now going to read the motion itself. Whereas President Whereas S. 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 President Liam Feng violated issues policy seven and four, be it resolved to recommend to the VP Finance to fine S. 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 President Liam Feng an initial seven hundred dollars, along with a public written apology, and to approve further financial punishments if the requirements in the OCO motion were not met or satisfied. I move. Can I get a seconder? It's three External. seconds. External seconds. I am. based on our in-camera discussions. I am going to move to a roll call vote on this motion. Um, and with that being said, I will also emphasize what um, Ashley has pointed out, which is that this is the appeal to this motion. So if this appeal is struck down, then the original OCEO motion stands with the original fine and, um, uh, motion without a written apology in it. I will move to the roll call vote. And let me just pull up a list of, or Liam, can you share the council agenda again? Do you have a list of regrets? I do not have it in front of me. I'll just tell you which one submitted regrets. I have the list. Okay. Thank you, Liam. And both myself and the criminology counselor will be um, keeping a tally and we will um, compare at the end. Don't skip over me, I submitted regrets. So I'll start off with the Archaeology Student so student Society.
I believe the archaeology council is here. I did not see any comment in the chat. Um, we are moving to a roll call vote. So, um, Suniha, are you here? Hi, yes, sorry, in favor. Thank you, Suniha. Moving on to believe behavioral neuroscience and regrets and biology had to leave on to biomedical physiology and kinesiology. I'm sorry, what exactly are we voting on? The motion that is currently in chat that we previously discussed in camera at length. Okay, I'll vote for. The original motion, yeah. I believe the business counselor also had to leave and the chemistry counselor submitted regrets. Liam, did the Cognitive Science Student Association counselor submit regrets? Yes, yes, they did. Okay, on to the Computing Science Student Association. Uh, did you say know. computing? Did you say computing science? I did. Also regrets. Thank you. Um, on to criminology. In favor. In favor. Thank you. Um, I believe data science submitted regrets and earth science had to leave. So we're now on to education. Or in favor. Thank you. We are now on to the Engineering Science Student Association. Tony, I, are you still here? Um, Engineering Science Counselor, are you here? Um, engineering counselor is against. Um, environmental science student union counselor. Geography student union counselor. Geography is voting for. Health science student association counselor. In favor. History Student Union. I vote in favor. History Student Union votes in favor. Indigenous Studies Student Union, I believe, had to leave. Yes, Indigenous Studies had to leave. On to International Studies Student Association Counselor in favor. Um, yeah, your um, point of information. Yeah, sorry, I just have a question um, for clarification for the vote. If we vote against, what are we voting for? You're voting for the original motion that the OCEO approved, which was the max fine of 1170 and the... Um, uh, sitting down with the policy coordinator without the um, apology. Okay, thank you.
I believe labor studies also had to head out. Um, on to mechatronics. <coughs> In favor. Myself in favor. Philosophy is away. Political science is away. Resource and environmental management. In favor. Science Undergraduate Society. I apologize, Science Undergraduate Society has left. Um, on to Society of Arts and Social Sciences. Society for the Arts and Social Sciences. Raj Dave, are you here? Um, no response from SAS. We will come back to them at the end. On to uh, sociology and anthropology. Sociology and anthropology, I apologize, is also not here. Um, on to software systems. Abstain. Noted. On to... Least sustainable energy has also left. No, no, they're back. I apologize. Yeah, okay. Software, um, sorry, sustainable energy. Is it my turn? Yep. Uh, yeah, I'm in favor. Wait, uh, we're wait, language. Do, do we skip statistics? I, I thought statistics had left. I apologize. Oh, okay. uh, nope, they're still here. I apologize. Then I'm in favor. And then we're on to constituency group representatives. Um, DNA is not here, I believe. Um, on to um, First Nations, Métis, and Inuit Student Association. In favor? To Soka. Uh, in favor. Women's Center Collective also had to leave. On to affiliated student groups. Uh, Residence Hall Association. In favor? TSSU, I also believe, is not here. On to SF Perg. In favor? Um, on to the SPSS Executive Committee, uh, President. I'm going to abstain. On to Acting VP Internal. Uh, Acting VP Internal will be voting against. Acting VP Internal has voted against. VP Finance and Services. I abstain. VP University and Academic Affairs. I abstain. VP, external and community affairs. In favor. 
in favor? VP Equity and Sustainability? In favor. VP Events and Student Affairs? In favor. Sorry, please may you say that again? I did not um, catch that. In favor. In favor. Thank you for that one. Um, what is the comment in the chat? Um, Tony, yes, you can change your vote to abstain. Um, and then Society for the Arts and Social Sciences. Raj Dave, are you here to vote? As I have not heard anything, I'm going to consider it a uh, abstention by lack of response. Um, that gives us the final vote count. The final vote count was 21 in favor, one against, and six abstentions. This much. It passed. Thank you all for your discussion tonight. I'm going to hand the chair back to Liam as the matter has been resolved and there's no longer a conflict. Okay, hey, thank you. I'm gonna move to go back to in camera for, for the remainder of the session because there's still a topic that we need to uh, discuss back there. May I get a seconder? CSA Hi, second. I hear CSA seconds. Thank you very much. Seeking unanimous consent. Receiving no dissent. Very good. I am going to. Repause the recording. Okay, uh, the guys are in the process of joining back. There really isn't a whole lot left, so I'm kind of comfortable with moving forward at this point. <clears throat> Recording has been resumed. I'm going to move to go X camera for the remainder of the meeting. May I get a seconder? Equity. I hear equity seconds. Thank you very much. Seeking unanimous consent. All right, there is no dissent. Um, let me check. If I'm not mistaken, we're basically done every single thing, and we'd be currently inside uh, Sam's notice of motion. Open up the chats. Yeah, Sam should be back out here by now. Hi everyone, I apologize, just had to step out for a second. The notice of motion is just on the member services policy. It was something that was amended by first the member services committee and then the governance committee um, to better reflect the situations that our member services staff face. It was edited with primarily by member services staff and then reviewed by the two committees. Um, 
I sent out the um, policy at the beginning of this meeting. Um, if you have any questions on the motion, uh, I was one of the people in the governance committee who reviewed it. I can probably provide some insight. Um, however, the motion itself is next week as well. So if you'd rather wait to save your questions, then Ashley will probably be back then as well. And she has more insight than me. I was also the very involved in this as well. So you can answer questions if you guys have any. Are there any major changes in the policy that we should be aware of? Biggest one I can think of is that it changed the requirement for the number of members in a club to be like signed up on the um, uh, GoSSS site from 10 to 20 for the um, requirement to, for the club. The reasoning behind it was that it um, ensured that we weren't giving out grant funding to a whole bunch of clubs that don't meet and um, do events, whereas pretty much to prioritize um, uh, making sure our uh, grant funds were efficiently distributed, I believe. Um, Io, you can speak more on that than me though. Yeah, I was just going to speak more broadly. Um, so as Sam was mentioning, another change that was made was that we added in a new policy for bullying and harassment. So that was kind of a bigger change. Uh, what we can do for council, because this is just a notice of motion, is during the next meeting, we can go over changes or we can do what we did for the finance policies and send you um, the former document and the new proposed changes and kind of highlight the changes. And then if you have any questions, you can bring it to the next meeting. Are there any further lists? Sorry, I was I I I got preoccupied for a few minutes there. My that that was my bad. Going once, going twice. It does not look like it. Is it safe for me to confirm discussion now? Yeah, it seems so. If that's the case, are we in Q&A? I suppose we are. Is there anything we'd like to say for Q&A? No, I'm going to assume not. I want to move quickly to adjournment just as much as the next person. But uh, no, I'll, 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 give a, I'll give a small thing about the Q&A. Um, yeah, that voting thing for the logo change. The submissions are all collected and fine. I have I have not been able to create the voting form for it yet. I was supposed to have prepared it for this meeting. I failed miserably. I'm going to retry again. Hopefully, I'll have something done by the end of next week. You guys can all vote on it. We can see how things are by next council meeting. And hopefully, we can wrap up this 
this local change voting thing as soon as possible so that I can send out the results in a student-wide email. And I also need to get the gift baskets from Costco. Yeah, that's it for me. Nothing else. Hey, I'm going to move to adjourn this council meeting at 38 p.m. You got a seconder from CSA, so be it resolved to adjourn. Yeah, 8.38 p.m. Seeking unanimous consent. Receiving no dissent, we can officially conclude ourselves to be adjourned.